Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School and today I'm going to do a video cookery lesson for you. Well, I'm now going to show you how to defrost, sorry, start again. Yeah. I'm now going to show you how to thaw or defrost fish. Now, as you can see, that is frozen rigid. Um, there are three ways of doing this. I'm only going to recommend two ways. Um, you can do it in the microwave, but I'm very uncomfortable with doing that because unless you really know your microwave oven, you'll end up cooking the fish, which you definitely don't want to do. Um, there are, I think, only two ways. The first way is defrosting, and, and this is the safest way, defrosting by placing it in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is place this in the bottom shelf of the fridge, and obviously it's on a tray. Now the importance of it being on a tray is there's going to be no drippage. Um, if it drips over other food, there's a danger of cross-contamination. Now, um, I reckon fish uh, normally takes about um, two hours uh, in the fridge, two to three hours to defrost per pound. Um, so let's have a look here. This has been in here for about three and a half hours now. And as you can see, it's completely defrosted. Um, you can also see there's quite a lot of drippage in there, hence the importance of leaving this um, in a tray to thaw or defrost. The other way of doing this um, is probably about half as quick. So um, if you um, leave that in cold water, completely submerged, you're probably looking at round about an hour to an hour and a half for that fish, which is about uh, a pound or thereabouts in weight. Um, what I would suggest is at the halfway point changing the water so it remains cold uh, because of course both in the fridge and in the water provided the temperature is below 8 degrees um, it's, um, it's impossible for bacteria to develop in that temperature in such a relatively short period of time um, to the point where it's going to cause uh, a danger to the person eating it. So there you have it. That is how to thaw or defrost fish. And obviously cooking times vary according to the size of the fish.